Last January I went to Lisbon on a city trip. I went there for a chill and just see the city, but of course, I couldn't help myself. I just had to paint something. And they still have actual orange trees in the streets. Super nice. So for my next painting, I decided to let myself inspire by the streets of Lisbon. No, of course I was not alone in Lisbon. My friends were walking behind me while I was recording, while I was walking with a camera on my head. They had a good laugh at me. You can barely tell, but this is gray. It's like a pink and a mint green. Looks really fresh together. But why am I taking these pictures? How do I find good color combinations? I'm walking around in the streets of Lisbon with my camera. I'm gonna walk around, look at buildings, trees, plants, cars, all that kind of stuff. And I'm gonna use the colors of those objects for my next graffiti piece. And I think that you can find really nice color combinations in, in the city as a creative for your next work. So after meeting Spider-Man, who clearly gained a lot of weight and a bunch of pictures, I went to the local graffiti store, Crack Kids Lisboa. First I had a coffee, I enjoyed the sea view and I checked my pictures and after the choosing one I started picking colors. Can I have like the dark blue? Yes, that one. It's all the way up there, the Easter yellow. Which one is face? One Bloody Mary? That one, I'm not sure, yes. Patina, yeah, that one over there. Caps, yeah, I need some more caps. It's like a candy store over here. Can I have like these three of them? I like to have five of the level one caps. Perfect. Thank you. Sounds pretty sketchy. <laughs> After asking around for nice walls to paint, I got the tip from someone to take the boat to the other side of the canal and there should be a big abandoned terrain with a lot of abandoned buildings. I can tell you, it was impossible to miss, as you could already see it from the ferry. Let's find out if I'm able to get in and paint something. There are actual chickens walking over there. I've got the feeling someone's living over here. Yeah, they closed it all up, so I'm gonna leave it like this. Hello? Pretty much a dead end, so not much that I can do over here. So this roof is like on point of collapsing and that one is already collapsed. So this place is actually pretty fucking dangerous. But I really like this wall. But if it, this is coming down, I'm probably gonna die. Maybe I'm gonna paint that wall. So there's like a lot of rotten wood over here. It's super slippery. It's not the best place to stand. So now I have like an actual platform to walk over. I hope that this wall is gonna cover a little bit. So these are the colors that I picked for today. These are all from the picture. So let's see how they work out together in a piece. So in the plane on my way to Lisbon, I've been doing some uh, doodling. So I'm gonna paint this spray can in front of my piece. Mm. 
I'm just gonna fill it up and see how this is gonna look. I can barely understand my own fucking sketch. Can you even imagine that they call this winter in Portugal? I'm walking around in like shorts and t-shirts. I really like how the piece is looking, especially the letters, even though the Y is pretty hard to read. I must say that I also like the colors, they're really soft except for the Bloody Mary, the red one. But I think that it works really well with the piece. The piece itself is pretty simple, but with the spray can in front, there is happening a lot, so therefore the piece is pretty interesting to see. I like the final result, and therefore I'm definitely gonna do this more often. Yep, dirty hands for sure. And the sun in my neck, it's lovely, but it's terrible for the final result. <sighs> Two hours later. Look how beautiful the sun is setting, but I have to go quickly to the spot to take pictures because otherwise I have not enough light. It's already getting pretty dark over here. There it is. Okay, bye bye. You're a little fatty, aren't you? Or are you pregnant? Walking like a diva.